Hi, my name is Miranda Plant. I am an actor and a film producer in New York City, and I graduated from St. Mildred's in 2003 and was the Brant Massey Prefect. I made lifelong friends at St. Mildred's, all of whom I keep in touch with today, and I attended their weddings, we exchanged baby photos. Uh, it's amazing how, how deep those friendships have roots. Um, but I would say that St. Mildred's was an integral part of my education as a professional and shaped who I am as a woman and as an artist as well in terms of the art that I create and the companies that I work with. I make films about women. I make them with female crews as much as possible and I make them about people of color and women of color. Yes, my name is Aisha Gerba and I graduated in 2004, so 16 years ago. I think it's just such a great network and community of like just amazing women like even just from being a student here and having the access to um, alumni or just such amazing and supportive teachers um, I don't think I would have gotten very far without like the support of my teachers um, they really helped me um, and they really kind of encouraged me to do whatever I wanted to do when I was here which was amazing Hey everyone, this is Brianna Welsh here, coming to you all the way from Singapore. I was a lifer Millie. I was at the school from 1994 until 2006. And it was such a surprise recently to receive a note from Mrs. Cossett, sharing a letter I'd written to myself in grade five, exactly 20 years ago on January 10th, 2000. She's asked me to read a little bit of it today for you. So here it goes. With all the tragedies in the world, hopefully people of all nations will unite in peace and love and there'll be no more suffering. I think there'll be great technology advancements. I think there'll be video phones, voice activated computers, and encyclopedias worn on your wrist. There will even be growing body parts from human living cells. And we'll be able to watch movies and listen to CDs on the internet. Wow, I mean, I've never claimed Nostradamus, but I was on point if only my parents had invested in me back then. So today I'm working for a sustainability focused investment fund managing a blockchain database uh, using the technology to invest in climate finance and renewable energy. Since Millie's, I've lived in eight countries, um, but I think my experience there is often credited for my wild imagination and real international exposure. I don't think I would be the person I am today if it weren't for Mrs. Ross's experiential learning program that shipped me off to Beijing at the ripe age of 13. And even things like etiquette class and ballroom dancing in S5, you know, they've had compound value in the last 14 years. I actually think throughout my travels, I've come to realize how valuable an experience Millie's actually was and how unique an education it is. And I'm very proud to be an alum, and I hope that the next generation of Millie's are as excited about the future as I was. Being a Millie to me means having curiosity a sense of adventure, a fierce and humble ambition to achieve my goals, a desire to give back, and to have unconditional compassion for others. Being a Millie means living life with enthusiasm. It means being a leader who strives to use her gifts, talents, wisdom, and knowledge to support and empower others so that together we can make our community a better, vibrant, and harmonious place. Mm -hmm.